The first big difference between the Roomba i3 and Roomba e5 involves mapping functionality. When we initially tested the i3 for review, it did not offer any mapping functionality, but iRobot has now via an over-the-air software update added the ability to label rooms and set the i3 to clean specific rooms using the iRobot companion app. The E5 does not offer any mapping functionality and it will also not receive any update to add such functionality. Another big difference between the i3 and E5 has to do with how each robot navigates. The i3 is equipped with a gyroscope and an optical sensor on the bottom of the robot, which gives it the ability to clean neatly in rows. The E5 doesn't have these same components, and so it cannot clean neatly in rows. Instead, it paths randomly. In our clutter room test, we also see the i3 moving more carefully and more precisely around obstacles. We see the E5 bumping into obstacles much more aggressively, moving the chair frame much more than the i3 over the full duration of the test. We do see both robots cleaning the room with similar efficiency. They both are able to get mostly complete coverage in the room in a similar time frame. This was a very small room though, only eight feet long by eight feet wide. Over larger areas, the i3 should be able to clean more quickly than the e5 because it's able to clean neatly in rows. Over larger areas, the i3 also has another advantage over the e5, recharge and resume. The i3 has the ability to clean part of a very large area, return to its base to recharge when its battery runs low, and then resume cleaning where it left off. The e5 doesn't have this capability. It will return to its dock once its battery runs low, and if you set it to clean again, it will start back up from the beginning, which could keep it from cleaning areas far away from the dock over time. The i3 does have one big disadvantage compared to the e5, edge debris pickup. The i3 only picks up edge debris by moving close and parallel to it, and it doesn't do the best job picking up edge debris in this way. The e5, on the other hand, as part of its random pathing, also moves parallel and close to the edge, but adds this circular movement against it which goes a long way in improving its overall edge pickup performance and gives it better edge pickup performance than the i3. The last difference of note between these two models involves self-emptying. The i3 is compatible with a self-emptying dock and the i3 Plus actually comes with this dock. The E5 is only available with a standard dock. It cannot self-empty. Outside of these differences, the two robots are very similar. They have an almost identical brush roll compartment with almost identical brush rolls. Both robots were also measured to have right about the same airflow and suction. And so they both performed very similarly in all of our debris pickup testing. They performed similarly in our carpet stress test, our carpet deep clean test, and in our hard floor stress test, outside of edge debris pickup, of course. Both robots performed well in our human hair pickup test. Their brush rolls don't have any bristles, so they don't tangle as easily with longer hair. Both robots did struggle a bit in our pet hair pickup test. They both tended to push around the pet hair a bit and or get some of the hair stuck underneath instead of quickly picking it up like most other robot vacuums we tested. Both robots have below average battery life compared to other robot vacuums of the same type and both have above average noise output compared to other robot vacuums of the same type. When it comes to general recommendations, we definitely recommend the i3 over the E5. The i3 is often for sale at close to the same price as the E5, and it is the better robot vacuum overall. It offers room labeling and room specific cleaning, navigates more efficiently, at least in larger spaces, it features recharge and resume, and it's compatible with a self-empty docking station. See the description of this video for buy links for these robots and for a link to the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.